What's up, Smith Game friends? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to review another Halloween movie, and that is Hotel Transylvania, the 2012 movie. And before we do, I do want to say you guys thank you so much for all your support and love comments. You guys are the best. And also, guys, I want to say to you all thank you for the shout outs. I really appreciate it. So, thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are the best. And speed on subscribing. If you guys are a new subscriber and want to support me, please be very kind. So, just subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Today's on. If you guys want to see more videos, so now no further ado, my friends, let's review Hotel Transylvania that came out back in 2012. So let's do it. So Hotel Transylvania. Um. So as you guys didn't know, Hotel Transylvania is a is an anime movie that. That's based on the universal monsters like Count Dracula, <clears throat> the creature of Black Lagoon, um, who else? Um, Frankenstein, the Mummy, um, the original Man, the Wolf Man, um, the Brian Frankenstein, more of those, and and other monsters like, like other monsters like Mr. Hyde. Um, the witches, the gargoyles, Quasimodo, all those guys are in, are in there as well. So it, so that's really cool to see a animated, family-friendly movie about the universe monsters. That's really, really cool. And so the main character in this movie is Count Dracula, and he's played by Adam Sandler. I love Adam Sandler. I love him in um in uh, what's his name? Um, his name is, uh, what's his name? What's his name? J Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. Uh, I love him, Jack and Jill. Um, uh, Billy Madison. Um, and other films as well that are really, 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 really cool. So I really, really liked him. Um, all time stuff. So that is really, really cool. And also, it's in Grown Ups. I never seen Grown Ups, guys. I never seen it. Um, Hopefully it might be good because my sister has seen grown ups before and all that stuff and that's really cool. So yeah and oh I may forgot I meant to do this so you guys didn't see. So let me turn it out. So yeah that, that that's better isn't it guys that's that's better. So you guys can see I got me um thing back there um me um <laughs> thing. So I think you guys can see my my um you guys can see my Halloween setup, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, so, oh, let me turn this off. So, yeah, so, so I, so in my opinion on this movie, I absolutely love this movie. And the reason I love this movie is because, because this is a, a brand new take on the Universal Monsters that, that 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 gears towards family friendly and children and that's really 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 awesome. Um this movie is a, a wonderful wonderful movie to watch on a nice Halloween night with your family. Um there is four films in the whole Transylvania. There is Hotel Transylvania Two, Hotel Transylvania uh, Month Vacation and Hotel Transylvania for the Transylvania. Transformania, basically, and I I have seen all three of them. I haven't seen the fourth film because that's on Amazon Prime, and ugh, like every time, like every time, guys, Amazon Prime always got every film like on there. Every film that is sucks. That is that is sucks. That is not good. So basically, yeah. So, so now guys, let's get into the story of this movie. And after the story, I'm going to tell you my favorite scene in this, of this movie. And all I can do, if you ask me. Yeah. So let's get into the story. So, 
So basically, um, I watched Pew's movie. I got the movie on my um, on on my um, TV. Yeah, you can't see. I actually play it because I want to play it. So basically, like that. So whatever movie I'm doing, I play it. I played it on, on my telly basically, and you guys can't see it because um, it it's behind the camera basically. So yeah, um, so so basically this basically this movie is about is about Dracula, who who owns a a very big hotel in Transylvania called Hotel Transylvania, and he actually built a hotel because because he. Built it for the monsters who need to um to come, you need to come and be themselves and be safe from humans. That's us, yeah. So and there was some there's something to do with this. There's a reason why he hates humans in general. Um, all the time stop and 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 there was a human as it came to the hotel that Dracula hid and as he lied. To, the, to, to his friends about it, even so to his own daughter, right? And it was absolutely, absolutely menace. So yeah. So let into it. So let's get into it. So it's not just said. I wrote my, my own words and uh, and I typed one from the um, Google and I actually put my own words. So basically says here, when monsters want to get away from humans, as as us, as us, they go to Count Dracula's Hotel Transylvania. A huge hotel where they can be themselves without any humans there or around, basically. On one really special weekend, Dracula invites all his friends to his daughter Mavis' 118th birthday party and celebrate her birthday. But the untruth has been untold that a human came to the hotel and instantly falls in love with Mavis and ruins the party thanks to Dracula. So basically so basically the movie starts basically the movie starts when um Dracula actually was singing as he was um singing to his um Mavis when she was a baby and all turned off like teaching her to be a bat all turned off and then we see, then we see a like, like a young child, and he reads a book and thing and all that stuff. But do you guys know while doing that, there was they were they were building a hotel that he and his wife was um was decided to do um to protect Mavis basically, and so well the 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 gargoyles and monsters have been building um this secret um. The secret um, entrance that nobody get into it. Um, the monster, uh, the head monster construction worker said, "If you have any bonfire or or anything or something to do with fires, um, they will come and they will come to find the hotel. But best thing is, do not do that. Do not do fires." So he's like, "Don't worry, don't worry." Then he, then 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 he um take. Maybe it's to the hotel already finished, and uh, then we see the name of Hotel Transylvania right in your face. Then we take takes place to present day, where his only friends come to the hotel, like uh, Mary the Mummy, Wayne, and Wayne, Wanda, who is the um the werewolves, and uh, they've got like three hundred and one pups, like a big litter. That's really really like crazy. Um, uh, there was Frank, and I, and Francine, who is it, who is, um, Frankenstein's monster and the bride of Frankenstein. We got Griffin, who is the original man, and all kinds of stuff. That was really, really, really awesome. So, basically, um, uh, basically he's there, they're there to celebrate her birthday, and all kinds of stuff. So, so well didn't if you've seen him inviting him and seeing his friends I think. Um give him invitations or everybody. Um he goes to see Mavis and she's one eighteen birth she's one eighteen and she wants to go to see, to see um see the world basically where the humans are. But you guys didn't know Dracula had a 
very big hatred for humans. So he the one he, he um the one to do that. So basically he um decided to, to let to to let her go. So basically she goes and um, but her family don't want to go because of the humans that he talked about and so he decided to not basically she wanted to go to Hawaii where uh, where he and her mother actually met. But he don't allow that. So he allows her to go to this village um across the other side of the, the cemetery. So they went there she went there but Dracula guys he did something drastic. He um basically this village he came up with is a fake village. His zombie workers pretend to be humans, basically, and 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 he tried to convince maybe it's bad to think. Basically he but basically he lied to her. Like because the way the reason why he the reason why he lied to her guys is because he wanted to keep her safe and make make sure she never leave anything. That's why because he's very overprotective. Like that's how that would, would that would a parent be for their child to be very protective to try and see what they want in their life basically. And she wants to explore everything, but he won't let her won't let her do it. Till after all that um. Of all that, he went up, went back to all smell of her red thing, all the time stop. Till him went back to the lobby. There was a human man named Johnny came in. Jack was like, you know, people were talking to him, but vampire, vampire, and he just like, whoa, and then he went, he went, who are you? What are you doing here? Or not stop. Basically, he thinks. Basically, he thinks this is like a a talking point or thing. But till uh, he took him to um, took him to the um, the closet and tell him what, what's his moves everything. So based on that, and he actually um, got the uh, put made one of him to, into like a Frankenstein monster, trying to disguise him, disguise him, and. So based on like that, he um, walked around and think. Um, so he asked him to mess around with the monsters. Turns out to be real. He was screaming. He was messing around with the monsters. He went on with the broom and things. He went, woo, woo, And that stuff. He went into Mavis. Then he instantly zinged. Like, zing, guys, is the word for love, basically. Or matched, basically. And. Out of the dog, Dracula tried to hit him, and, she said, and, and, and he went, Dracula! So he took him, and, and he said, Don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, don't kill me or anything. And he's like, He's like, Oh, shut up, I'm not gonna kill you, basically. But like that. So he decided to take him out, and to make sure he leave, uh, basically. And so he um, instantly got stopped by Mavis. And telling her that he's here to help him with, with the party of things. So, based on that. And he told him, like, Johnny Stein and things. So, I, I'm not getting into, uh, into much. So, 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 so two minutes later, we, um, he, he has to meet Frank Stein or the monster, pretend that he's his cousin, or that stuff. He does the music and all that stuff. Till, um, till on the different, different things they do, like the, the bingo. The um the scooters and thing, the pool. Um Dracula wants to leave guys, he wants to leave. He said he said, Look, he said, look, I want you to leave. Like I want everyone to know you're here, you're a human. But guys, Quasimodo knew that he's a human. Knew he's a human. So he tried to try to get rid of him, tried to try to take him, basically. But he he managed to take him, but he was taken down by um Taken down by the the um, Dracula thing basically, and, and it was awesome. He he um he did ask him to leave um till he had a like, uh, like uh, hang out with uh, Mavis on top of the roof of the hotel, and they actually um like if you guys didn't know vampires 
they don't like sunlight. They don't. They don't. They don't like garlic, or and they, and they do. They do die with steak in the heart, basically, and and that's really, really like, really like harmful for them. So he saw the sunlight, and he, <laughs> this thing is, guys. He went, he went through the freaking <laughs> the roof. <laughs> he like, yup, yup, yup. So basically, and Jack was there, like, uh, I think he was like, uh, like bathing or something. And he's like, oh, he's telling a friend, oh, he left, I think. And, he, and Jack went, boo! He went, mm. and that basically they took him to the room where he tells him a This is where they had a bond. Basically, they play each other. Oh, okay, not not play each other. They play with each other, like play with each other and uh, mess around, goofing all kinds of stuff. And on his um, like flying on the tables, everything was very really cool. Till till he take him to the um the room where he saw the picture of Martha, and this is where he tells him about it. Um. About she was killed by humans. That's why he ate some. And and Johnny knew the story, but he but the version of his story was wrong. And only one person died from that legend. And that was her. And he's the one who tried to protect his daughter, basically. And so he actually um asked Joe's and a little barn and everything and. Or oh, no, so that's really, really nice, and so he decided to let him go after the party. So he went in the party, and they all like dance and everything, like like, like dancing. Like, I do, I do this, and that, like dancing. That's pretty cool, and all that stuff. And um, this is where Mavis actually kissed um Johnny, and he went up to Johnny like. I need to do this with, with my pain to you, or that stuff. And this is where he argues, and this is where he exposes himself, telling that the village did not exist. And he told her what he'd done, and she was very happy. Till, because she believes that he's there not to let her go, not to let her. To, to face her dreams, but he wants to stay everything. And that is really, really, really sad. But this is where Johnny exposes um, where Quasimodo and Esmeralda, the rat, actually confront it, actually expose him. For a human, and everyone's like, No, a human! Or that stuff. Till Mavis actually don't care because she likes humans and she wants to be with him. Till he looked at Dracula, he was doing like he like he like top. I want to be with you. I hate monsters and everything. And then Dracula tried to do that. And she said it's all your fault. Basically, everyone trying to leave. Till he figured out this way. Figured out he told to Mavis that he falls she falls in love with him and everything. And this is where he saw the picture and he knows something he needs to do. So this is where he tells his friends that John's not a bad guy or anything. He wants to help. So so they go decided to go get him. So they, 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 they lost, his, lost his track, thanks to Winnie, who is a little pup who has to send to Jim all the sense of things, track track his um sense of that. Till they go to this monster um festival. And they thought humans are the same, but they're not, they're different. And they all like love the monsters, they love all the monsters. Till he decided to decided to help um everything. And to help him. So they, he goes to the to the airplane, he gets John's attention, he went up to the pilot, he kept like basically he used his mind to talk to him, he used his voice to talk to him. And uh, it was really cool the way, the way he talked to him. It, it, it was very really sweet, very emotional the way he talked to him. He was like, he tells him that like, he was wrong and all that kind of stuff. And he says he was sorry and all that kind of stuff. Till he brought him back to Mavis. And this is where they reunited and had a little kiss. And 
This is where Josh is doing. Like, <laughs> on a bass, like, he went, <laughs> on a bass, like that. And he's like, and he went, oh, sorry, uh, um, you did the event. So he goes, and then was smooth. Then there's a party, baby party, and outside, basically. And it was absolutely awesome. And he was singing and everything. And this is where he directly raps. And he raps. All the stuff, ding, 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 all the stuff. It was really cool. And they all like dancing. Everything was really cool. And, and yeah. So, guys, that was the story of Hotel Transylvania. And, guys, that story was awesome, right? I really loved the story. It was really, really, really cool. And I loved the, um, I loved the relationship between um, Johnny and Mavis was really cool. Like seeing how two worlds begin to come together. That's really cool. And I love seeing the monsters, seeing the new monsters like Dracula, what, um, Wolfman, or some of that were really, 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 really cool. And really lo lovely, lovely characters and all that stuff. So guys, let me tell you my favorite scene. Uh, my favorite scene is the introduction scene where where they where they introduce the monsters like the reason why I love this scene is because because you because you you are able to see the um the chemistries between them like like the old best friends the old like friend the old like treat each like family and friends that was really, really nice I love seeing that and the one that made me laugh is where um when Drac not Dracula is um. Murray the Mummy was standing in front of Dracula, and there's Frank, he, he, he went, guys, what's this? He's he really short, and boom, he went, and I, and Murray the Mummy, he went, I did not do that. He went, I didn't make a ball of that. I'm just off, and Dracula's like, he went, seriously, you have to be right in the lobby. I'm just off, he went, that's not me, and, and, and they're all like, and I thought laughing, and that's really cool, right? That's really cool. Love that scene. Um, that that was my favorite scene, guys. Um, I, I love it. And also, and guys, let me know in the comments below what what is your favorite scene in Hall Transylvania? Hall Transylvania, yeah. So yeah, um, I love the music. I love the uh, the, the the song. I forgot what the song called. Um, it's really good. I love the actual um backstory where Dracula. Became like um, hate have hatred with humans. Then the throughout the movie, he actually outgrown it. He actually um, have a have a change of heart about humans, and now he thinks that humans are good and you know, all stuff. And he like just delivers that. That's really cool. I was I like did a great job as Dracula. Like he is awesome in this. Um, all that stuff. So I love. Seeing characters, I think. So, yeah. So, guys, that was my review of Hotel Transylvania. And this movie was really cool. I really, really enjoyed it. And all that stuff. Love seeing characters. I love seeing, um, you know, the monsters. Everything. Like Dracula, Dracula doing his own thing. And, sh like, helping the monster because he's humans. And he have a change of heart. That's really cool. Love seeing Mavis as he falls in love with his human. That's really 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 cute to see really cute and really nice and uh all that kind of stuff and i really enjoy it uh if i have to tell my favorite character is um uh my favorite character outside of dracula it has to be the wolf man i love i, I love uh wayne the werewolf he's he's cool and he's his children are diabolical they they are wackles they are they are wackles. That's who they are. They're wackles. That's who they are. They're nuts. Like all the stuff. And I feel sorry for him. Like he, he was like he trying to make him miserable and everything. Yeah. So yeah. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review of Hotel Transylvania. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, turn this on, and leave a comment down below. And in the next review, on next review, we will be reviewing Hotel Transylvania 2. So that's why, guys, you're doing two more Hotel Transylvania movie reviews, and it could be awesome. So I will be doing that one on Saturday. I'll be doing the third one on Tuesday. That's Halloween, and it's going to be awesome. And on Wednesday, 
we will be reviewing Star Wars Episode 1 Phantom Menace. And if you're excited about that, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that will be awesome because that will be our first Star Wars review that we are going to do on the channel. So, yeah. So, guys, thank once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Please take care of yourself. Awesome. Bye.